Our mission was, as we had stated, to create a cluster of aerospace companies that will lead the transition from a government-led program to a commercially driven industry. Within three years, we will have over 1,500 employees. This is a phenomenal day today in this month, in this year, where Intuitive Machines announces um, our expansion at Spaceport Houston. You know, we've been in this facility here, which was the existing Houston Spaceport facility since about 2018. And now we've been fortunate enough to uh, have a deal with the city of Houston to expand into a brand new 125,000 square foot facility that includes manufacture of, of spacecraft, of satellites, advanced manufacturing techniques, composites, and operations to operate our equipment that flies to the moon. Today's companies are finding this location to be very attractive, and they are fully embracing this development. You know these details are never easy. I can vouch for that. And your team has shown its acumen structuring terms that are a win-win situation for the companies involved, for the Houston spaceport, and for the bigger Houston region. Houston's our family. You know, we grew up and worked really hard and learned a lot about engineering and how to build spacecraft from the Johnson Space Center and NASA, right? And so when we stepped outside the gates of Johnson Space Center, we said, why not start our company here in Houston? Intuitive Machines is a company of firsts. We're a company that's gonna land on the moon for the first time in 50 years for the United States. We're also gonna land on the South Pole on our second mission. We're gonna hop off of our lander into a permanently shadowed crater, and we're actually gonna drill for water ice on the moon on the South Pole. The other thing we're doing is exploring, putting cellular LTE technology and communicating on the surface of the moon with that technology which has never been done before. So we are a company of firsts.